Recording in progress. All right, guys, I got coach. Just a reminder, a few of you guys are coming on late. Use the raise hand fund or raise your hand, and I will moderate, all right? So with that, I'll give it up to coach. Well, first of all, um, <clears throat> What a heck of a ball game, and I want to say credit to Brent Vegan and their coaching staff. I thought they were really well prepared um, and had a good game plan. Uh, certainly, we were out of sync offensively, particularly in the first half, and uh, had a hard time getting some things generated. Uh, I thought our defense, you know, by and large, played pretty doggone well. We gave up the one touchdown uh, off a sudden change early, and then I think there was another drive. Uh, in the kicking game, uh, I thought uh, our punter uh, punted the ball well. And we kicked off well. Um, you know, we uh, I thought the uh, the kickers were playing well. I don't want to get into all the specifics on snapping. We lost our starting snapper at the very beginning of the year, and it's just been somewhat of a challenge. It, it is, we've been working on it. I'm glad we were able to hone some things in and get some kicks done there. Certainly was an exciting game. Um, I know what it's like when you coach an FCS team. And it seems like every time we played an FCS team, it's been a, a margin of victory like this. It's also been my experience. The teams usually make the most improvement between the first and second game, and that's going to be very important. Um, you know, we, we've got to – we'll be laboring on Labor Day, I can tell you that. We've got to stay hungry, and we've got to play better. Uh, but I will not uh, discredit, you know, the execution, the two-minute drive I thought was outstanding, and the resolve and belief to play. I thought our defense had done a good job knowing that how much time, where the margin was as far as where they were going to be on the field. And Coach Savelle did a good job and bled the clock down, down to zero. So I'll open it up to questions. 
All right, Josh, why don't you go ahead and start us off? Hey, Coach. Um, you know, if you could just take us through that last drive. I know you talked a lot about getting uh, tight ends involved in the passing game. You know, how, how happy were you to see, you know, Trayton Welch come up with that big play at the end for you? I was really happy, and Trayton is an excellent player. I think he's going to rise uh, to one of the top tight ends in the league. He's got great hands. It was a super route. Sean put the ball where it needed to be, and we had good protection. And um, Tim Polisek felt a lot better about where we were at on the field than what I did. I was a little bit concerned with that amount of time left, but he felt good about what he had on the play sheet. And so it was uh, it was really good to get that touchdown. And certainly our sideline erupted. And, um, it, you know, but it does not surprise me that Trayton was able to make that play. You had three drives there at the end, scoring drives of over 50 yards. What was the biggest difference you saw with your offense down the stretch? Well, I thought uh, we got a little bit of rhythm uh, with Sean. You know, we were able to pop some runs, some traditional runs that we were not able to pop in the first half. Um, you know, certainly a penalty, a double penalty hurt them on one one scoring drive, I believe. Um, and we need to build off that. You know, we're going to be positive um, about how we did respond. But believe me, there's there's not a I, – I don't want to say this. I mean, I, I'm – I'm happy we won. There's great things that we did to improve, to, to show some resolve, but there's a lot of work to do. Cody, I saw you raise your hand first. Go ahead. Craig, what can you say about uh, Sean's confidence? He looked like a, almost like a different quarterback on that last drive. Well, I think a couple things. One, um, I really want to credit Tim Policy like, and the offensive coaches, but um, he brought uh, an awful lot of, of background, some things that, that he had gotten from some NFL teams, uh, clock management ideas, um, when to use timeouts. You know, that there was a time that we used the, the timeout. Typically, I would not have done that before, but we've gone through an area of analytics, which I have not been a big, big uh, lover of. But in this case, I mean, it does come down to analytics and putting ourselves in position to make the claim. I think Sean just uh, saw the field so much better. And, and also, we have spent a great deal of time uh, practicing that. And that that time uh, really proved to be very beneficial. It gave us the win. Ryan, go ahead. You're next. Craig, how did you uh, think you guys fared at the line of scrimmage on both sides of the ball? And also, you know, I know you had the botched extra point. But overall, were you pretty pleased with the punting game and, and Hoyland coming through? Yeah, um, I missed the first part of the question, Ryan, if you could repeat the first part, and I'm going to get to the second part here. Yeah, when you look at the line of scrimmage, did you perform the way you guys wanted to, or how did you see that? Um, walking off the field, I think uh, we could have played better. There were some run fits that were missed on defense. Uh, I certainly think that there were some missed blocks at the line of scrimmage that you know, we had some guys uh, come underneath and didn't fulfill some of their some of their blocking assignments. I, I could be wrong, uh, but I don't think I am. And so the line of scrimmage is an area where I felt like we would have a huge advantage. And I don't know uh, if I walked off the field and said that we had a huge advantage. Maybe we had an advantage. If, it were there, if there was an advantage, it was pretty slight. And so there's got to be a lot of work to do in a short amount of time. Uh, in reference to the kicking game, I thought our place kickers and uh, the punters, uh, the field position that was created, whether it be on kickoffs, Ralph had a, a you know a, a sky punt that went down to the one that flipped the field over. Uh, he had, a, had another one where he flipped the field over with his distance. Um, the kickers and John was great. Um, all that stuff was really good. However, I think our coverage group. You know, they did return the one back uh, for a touchdown. There was a block in the back, but I think we've got some flaws there because that shouldn't happen. But um, special teams need to improve, but I think our, our place kickers and our, our punters really performed well. Go ahead, Cody, followed by Ryan. Greg, what can you say about Chad Muma? He just did a uh, little bit of everything today. I, I can tell you he uh, – he stood out to me. I mean, he was he was operating at a faster pace. He was explosive, um, and by and large, uh, some of the sets that they were doing, um, he did a great job getting our defense lined up. He's a super leader, 
and uh, he's an excellent football player. I thought he played outstanding today. Ryan, go ahead, followed by Josh. Greg, you and Brent said it was going to be emotional. Was it even more so where it comes down to the last second and mm -hmm. one guy escapes with a victory and another guy kind of has his heart ripped out a little bit? Right. I know how Brent feels. Um, I've lived that. And, and his heart certainly was ripped out. Um, it, it was, you know, I don't want to get into all the family ties. Deep. I mean, parents, my kids, um, the whole nine yards. And uh, what a whale of a ball game. It's, it's too bad. Um, if, if there would have been a time that I would have liked Brent to win one, it would have been um, some other game than today. Uh, but if, if they would have won, I would have been happy for him. He's a heck of a person, and I think he'll be a great head coach. And today demonstrated how he prepared that football team. Coach Cam Stone got a lot of playing time with uh, Azizi going down early. What, what were your overthought, all thoughts on just the way he performed out there in that role? On Cam? You know, he'd been getting to practice uh, much better uh, the last week and a half. We were going to insert him in the game. Uh, but obviously, when, when ZZ got called for targeting, um, you know, he played a lot. And I thought he played pretty doggone well. I think he caused a fumble. They tested him on some fades. There's some things that he can improve on, but we feel really good about him moving forward. Ryan, go ahead, followed by Cody. Uh, Craig, uh, uh, just talk a little bit about Sorry, go ahead, someone else. Cody. Craig, uh, do you think Sean had a little bit of nerves coming in this one? That guy hasn't played a lot of ball. And, uh, no. you know, it was obviously you know, a really tried, throw at first. I think we, we tried bad. to do some things early just uh, knowing him. I mean, we threw the, the throw back off the naked early uh, just to sing one out there um, and tried to put, a, put him in position on some other things that he can do well. I thought – uh, the interception he threw was a really poor decision. And I, that, you know, I, I give Sean a lot of credit because while that was not a pick six, it turned into a six. And I thought he responded well. And, you know, to be able to come up with a two minute drive, uh, Sean's going to look at that tape. Tim's going to coach him. There's going to be some things that he did really well, but there'll be some things early uh, that I think we got to improve on. Not think, I know we got to improve on. Ryan, go ahead and finish. Uh... You still got your question. I was, I think I was going to ask, was Welch's catch one-handed? It was kind of hard to tell from this angle. And I, I didn't how see. How big it. of a play is that for your? It program? was a huge play, but I didn't, Ryan. I didn't see it being a one-handed catch. I think, you know, he he was able to to uh, position the defender. There's there's so many little nuances that he did. He, he was able to to get the defender out and down in the red zone when they're playing red zone coverage. You, you try to. And it takes some some gamemanship. And then uh, Sean threw the strike in there. But I, I, I think it was a two-handed catch. But nonetheless, it was a great play. All right. You guys got any more questions? Yes, Tracy. Tracy. Just, I mean, you have to be happy you have a win. There's a lot of things you didn't necessarily like in that game. But is that almost a good first game so that everybody doesn't become a little overconfident? <laughs> Yeah, I can tell you this. We'll we'll have some confidence on some things, but I think the guys who've known me quite some time, there there there's not going to be a lack of of attention to detail. And uh, I know that it's always easier to uh, coach after you win, uh, particularly a close game, as opposed to coming back and losing. Or if you win by a whole bunch, uh, sometimes some guys begin to read their press clippings and. Um, there was some good things out there, but uh, we got a lot of work to do. And uh, I'm excited about the resolve and the belief that our football team has. I'm not completely happy with some aspects of our, our uh, performance. And in all three phases, I think we can fix some things. But um, we're 1-0 and and getting ready to play the Huskies. And so uh, Monday's labor, and we will be laboring. Are you guys good? Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Greg.
Sounds good. All right, guys, I got Chad here. So you guys can just go ahead and ask questions as we go. So uh, Cody, go ahead and start off with uh, Chad. Chad, congratulations uh, on the win. You had, you seem to be all over the place today. Did uh, did you just have a feeling today that you were after watching film that you were gonna be as uh, as good as you were? Yeah, I mean, I think it was a lot of just the preparation that our coaches gave us, and I think that helped us play fast today. I think uh, the defense as a whole, we're just communicating really well. We would see something, um, and then we could play really fast off that because we're all communicating together. So I think it was just the defense as a whole was just talking to everyone so we could know what we had to go against. I'm wondering, Chad, what your thoughts were when they go five plays, 75 yards, score a touchdown there at the end. What's going through your mind when they get two 21-yard th uh, runs in a row and get in the end zone there late? Yeah, no, I mean, it, those plays happen. And so I think it's just kind of uh, my thought process, just getting the defense together and just telling them that we're all right still and that we still got to – you know, battle back because we're not we're not out of this by any means. And even if they get down there a couple of plays, we can still battle back and get a ball, get the ball out or get a stop or get them to kick a field goal. So it's all really just talking to the defense and just making sure that everyone's ready to still play. Chad, um, y'all really kept them in it, you know, early on, especially in those first couple quarters. What was the thing that impressed you the most about the defense today? Uh, I, that, I think just going on that point is just how we communicated together. Uh, and just how we played together really as a defense. I think that was the most impressive thing. Um, so I was really happy to see everyone making tackles, going out and playing together. Dad, you guys have been talking about Sean Chambers and the offense and their improvement during camp. It took a while, but what was it like to see them deliver at the end of the game, especially Sean to Welch on that last play? Yeah, no, it's awesome. We kind of go through those situations every week in practice where we're going two minute drill and they have to go down and make a touchdown and go and score. So it's awesome to see that the practice that they've been going through um, kind of pays off. And, you know, definitely the whole defense is excited, the whole sidelines excited. So it was great seeing those guys go out and make plays. Did you guys have more two minute drills this year than ever? Uh, I think so. During fall camp, we had a few uh, two minute drills early on just because I think as a team as a whole, we're so uh, just veterans out there. And so, we were able to do some things early, get some, get all of our offensive plays in, get all of our defensive plays in early in camp, so that we could have those situations later. Chad, where do you see uh, maybe the biggest area you'd like to see the defense improve before next Saturday? Yeah, I think it's just those explosive plays that they had, and so I think this just kind of has to do with the first first game, first game jitters a little bit, and just fixing those little issues because there was a couple times where they had some big runs or big class plays, and so I think that's the biggest thing going into week two is just eliminating those plays. How shocked are you to see, see a gold, gold jersey at your locker? I was so surprised. Uh, Coach actually announced it to us yesterday, and it was our pregame practice, and he brought us up as a team and uh, told JD to bring out the jerseys and the pants, and everyone was super surprised. I think they did a really excellent job of keeping it a secret from us. Going off of that, did you ever think that you'd uh, be wearing alternate uniforms out here at War Memorial Stadium? Never, never in my life would I think that, especially with Coach Bull, I thought it'd always just be the uh, brown and white jersey. So it was definitely really cool to see. Chad, I think you were credited with a blocked field goal. How did you get your hand on that one? Yeah, so we had a, a, our field goal protection. They swam out. And so I just think that kind of disrupted the kicker a little bit. Uh, those guys up front where he had kind of kicked it lower and just timed it up, had my hand in the right place and was able to get a hand on it. You guys good? All right, thanks, Chad. All right, thank you, guys. All right, next up, guys, I got uh, Xavier Valade. Ryan, why don't you go ahead and start us off? How are you guys doing? Xavier, obviously, this one came down to the wire, and you guys needed to deliver a two-minute drill drive. What did you see from Sean in the huddle in terms of just his poise and confidence in that situation? You said it right there. Well, first off, getting up, giving honor to God for, you know, a great hard fought game and, you know, a great uh, team victory. But yeah, you said it, uh, Sean, you know, just uh, all the situations we've been having during fall camp, you know, he just the confidence he's been building up and, you know, just leading us in the right direction, you know, showed today. 
And, you know, uh, we do have a lot more work to do just uh, getting in the film room. But, you know, it starts with our quarterback and the confidence that's, that he that he's having uh, leading uh, this offense. What were they doing to kind of stymie you guys for most of the game and what changed at the end? Really just being able to execute the plays that, uh, you know, that were called in the game plan. Uh, just, you know, came down to just a little uh, blocks or, you know, just a, you know, a, a great read or, you know, if if, if if it was a misread, you know, I had to make the right read, you know, whatever we had to do uh, to make the to make a good play, uh, a, to make a good play, a great play. So, you know, it just came down to just, uh, you know, uh, executing those assignments. X, what was it like to see Vegan on the other sideline? Man, I, I told him before the game, I never thought a day in my life that, you know, this would end up happening. But, you know, it was just like a family reunion today. Uh, but, you know, it's always love at the end of the day. You know, uh, credit to Montana State. They definitely came out here. You know, they put their best foot forward. And, you know, we did the same as well. But, you know, it's always love for Coach Vegan. You know, I wish them the best for the rest of the season. Uh, X, the, uh, the offense kind of struggled to get drives together early, but those last three all went for over 50 yards. What was the biggest change you saw in the offense down the stretch? Really just, you know, believing in one another. You know, I thought that, you know, as long as we do our job and take care of the football, that, you know, we'll always be in uh, great positions to make plays and get the ball to our playmakers. So it's, it uh, comes down to executing those plays and you know, having confidence in one another and you know, just it, uh, just come down to executing those plays at a high level. Excellent. It's hard to keep your confidence when you guys are one and nine on third downs and three and 12 on third down conversions. I'm sorry? Is it hard to keep confidence when when you, you're not getting it done on third down like that? No, it's not hard at all. Just that's the, and that's why we practice. You know, uh, the situations, the two minute situations, third down situations. You know, uh, all those situations that we practice in the spring and the, uh, you know, in fall camp and even in the season. You know, in a couple of weeks before, is just always executing. You know, just believing in guys, just that they'll be in the right position to make plays and the right fits to be in great positions. So. It's not hard at all. It's just as long as we do our job and, you know, do the right assignment that's called uh, into the game plan, then, you know, we should always see a success. Are you guys good? Hey, X, X I, I just wanted to ask you what it was like to finally be back out on the field after only playing two home games last year in front of limited crowds and, you know, more than 27,000 in, in the stands today. It felt really good, you know, um, and, and then the most important thing that, that really felt good was just having the fans back, you know, the electrifying atmosphere. I, you know, I definitely missed that, you know, playing another game at home and, and kicking it off right on our season opener with a stripe out and, you know, just seeing all the, you know, emotions going up and every everyone just to, having the excitement that, you know, it's our first game and, you know, it's, it's, it's finally football season is finally here. So. You know, it was a lot of emotions today, and, you know, I'm very thankful that we got a, a victory today. All right, you guys good? Thank you, X. Thank you. Thanks, X. <laughs> All right, guys, we got Trayton coming up next. Josh, go ahead and start us off. Hey, Trayton, hey, so I guess, I guess you know, first, know, first things, things first, first, just take, take us through that, that last play. play. What, what was going through your head, head and what, what were the emotions, emotions after you pulled, pulled in the touchdown? touchdown. Um, well, first off, glory to God as well. And I didn't make that catch. God did for sure. And so going through that play, um, we've been working a lot on those on that play over the course of fall camp and looking at the coverage. And, you know, Sean's going through his read, and, and I was the first one in the read. So um, props to Sean putting that ball right where it needs to be, and we made a great play. How does it feel to get involved with this offense early like this, Trader? It feels it feels really good. And Coach Polisek had said that he's going to get the tight ends more involved, and he kept to his word. You know, me and Parker and, and Colin, we're all doing great things out there. And, and like I've said before, and like I'll say again, when that tight ends number is called, we're going to go make plays. So, Braden, what did you see from Sean's demeanor today? Obviously, it was a struggle for three quarters, basically, and then you guys kind of turned it on and pulled out a victory. Yeah, so Coach P is big on body language, and Sean's body language was was great today. No matter what was going on, Sean's body language showed that we could still have a chance and we still have hope, and that's exactly what we did. We went out there and executed.
Yeah. Did you know that play that was called was going to be there, you know, before the route started or how did it develop? Yeah. Yeah. So like I said, it's kind of that, it's a play that we've been really focusing on and, you know, before the play, I think Sean and I both, both knew that I was going to be the first read on that. So it was, it was racing through my head for sure. Two handed catch or one handed kind of looked one handed on the replay. I like to say I used my third hand, but it was, you know, it was a one hand catch, used my third hand in the stomach. So. All right, you guys good. All right. Thank you Thanks, guys very Ray. much. Appreciate it. All right. Next up guys, we got uh, John Hoyland. Hi, Tracy, go ahead and start us off if you want to. John, just from your sake, to, uh, to come back this year, you kind of started it off the way you ended last year. Is a lot of confidence and feel good about your situation? Yeah, I think this is the most confident I've felt going in a year in a while. Um, just um, going in there and now I feel like um, I know what it's like to – I know what it feels like to have a kick that's 100% chance of you going in. So I just try and replicate that every time, and it – it works pretty good. Coach Bull said last year he didn't really know who you were till the Friday before the uh, season opener. I guess he knows who you are now. Yeah, I think so. Um, and we've sat down at um, meals a couple times and talked about special teams and stuff like that. So it's good to have a coach that really cares about, you know, um, that aspect of the game. How about the fact he just gave you the chance? And, you know, I'm sorry? The fact he gave you the chance. Yeah, I'm really grateful for the chance that he gave me, even just like bringing me out in here in a walk, as a walk-on um, and giving me the opportunity to um, really just compete for the position and um, earn a scholarship, so. Thank you. John, you know, not just you, but the whole special teams really seemed like a strength for the team today. How would you describe that group's confidence just since the start of fall camp? Yeah, um, we've honestly, confidence is a, Th big thing we've been working on with the special teams, you know, Ralph being a, his first ever college punt. Um, and I think he had a really great game today. So, um, and then since Reed's been out, it's been Tegan at snapping and um, he's been put in a really difficult situation, but he, um, he really um, came through today. And then um, we also, for that last field goal, we put in a freshman, Tommy um, Roborowski. I, I can't pronounce his last name, but, um, and, you know, we, he, we only discovered that he started um, snapping only a couple weeks ago. So he started snapping a couple weeks ago and to um, snap that field goal that really, um, that um, I think put us ahead is, it's really huge. And I'm really grateful for the group of guys that I'm around in this specialist room. All right, you guys good? All right, thank All right, you. Thank Thanks, you, John. All right, guys, we got Aiden Everhart here. Now I'm going to go find Sean and CJ. Um, Ryan, go ahead and start us off. Aiden, what was kind of the feeling um, in the offensive huddle before that last drive? Um, you know, it, it uh, kind of getting goosebumps right now talking about it, but uh, confident. Um, we've replicated that scenario so many times before um, leading up to this uh this exact uh, moment, and uh, so everyone was confident going into it, you know. Um, so if I had to put one, put it into one word, it would be confident. So it was awesome to see everybody on the same page, um, knowing exactly the situation, what we needed every single play, and to see it, you know, executed that way it was awesome. Did you learn anything about Sean today that you didn't already know, or did he kind of just – get a show of the world what you guys have been talking about as far as his leadership yeah absolutely no his leadership like i said you know everyone was confident and i think a lot of it stems from his body language and him throughout practice you know sh giving everyone the ball to where everyone's like confident in those scenarios but uh you know i think everyone started to see um a little bit more that sean can he can do it all he can run he can throw and uh more than anything he can lead this offense Aiden, what is it? You've been here for the Wofford game. You've been here for the Idaho <laughs> game. What is it about these FCS guys here in the stadium? Um, you know, I, I really couldn't tell you what it is. Uh, first game, 
I, you know, I'm not, I'm not making excuses, but first game, uh, vegan and Adam Pillipel, you know, Adam, Adam Pillipel knows a lot over there. Um, but, uh, both of them knowing our entire team, how they did, maybe it was that. Um, but in the end, at the end of the day, uh, you gotta go one and oh, um, whether it looks pretty, whether it doesn't, um, getting a win at the end of the day is what we need to do. And that's what we came here to do. And that's what we did. So, um, you know, we'll be able to look at the film, see things we missed. Um, but, uh, one and oh, that's, <laughs> that's all we needed. Aiden, offense had a little bit of a slow start, kind of struggled getting drives together, but had a really strong finish. What was the biggest change you saw in the offense just over that last quarter or so? Yeah, you know, I think, uh, I don't know, things just started clicking. And uh, with an offense, once things start clicking, it can be dangerous, um, you know, especially for the, obviously for the defense. So I think you saw us starting to click a little bit, um, a little bit more than we did, like you said, in the first, you know, first half or, uh, what not, but uh, I think we started clicking a little bit and hopefully we can look at the film and see why we didn't do that the first half. Um, but, uh, you know, one and oh, like I said, that's all we got to be and that's that's all we wanted and that's what we came out with. So we got to look uh, look to get one and oh next week too. All right, you guys good? Jack, it looks like you're trying to talk. Yeah. I'm trying. There we go. Okay, Aiden, it, it's always great to uh, get that season opening win, but to do it in front of 27,000 fans after not having fans really last year, how much more special is it going to make it? It was unbelievable. Um, you know, I uh, we all talk about the last year being the COVID year and how it was, you know, a horror story and all that kind of stuff, and truly it was. Um, it's weird going out there and trying to play a football game without, you know, fans, and you don't feel that energy um, like you, you do today, especially today. Um, I've been here for a long time, and, um, man, did we fill up those seats and were we loud. It was awesome to see everybody, um, you know, the stripe out, everything like that. It was, it was unbelievable. Um, you know, the fans are everything for this team. And, uh, you know, they just make playing this game so much better. So shout out to the fans for coming out full force like that. It was awesome to see everyone and hear everybody. And, uh, you know, that, that just made it that much more special. How much energy did you, you know, did the offense get from your fans on that last drive? Oh, a ton. Um, you know, you can hear it in every single play, whether it's a catch or a run, you know, just gaining yards and different things like that. You can always hear the fans and um, you could definitely hear them today. I can tell you that it was it was something special. So, uh, again, you know, thanks to the fans for coming out like that and um, giving us that energy because that really means a lot. And it was it was just awesome. It came together. So it was great. Aiden, how shocked were you to see a gold uniform? Um, I've been here for a very long time and never did I ever, ever, ever think that that would happen. And, uh, to see that happen, I think it, um, it showed a lot of, uh, I guess, trust that bull has with us now, um, as a team and that, uh, they, they believe in us. So I think that that was an extra little boost. And, uh, you know, I kind of, I kind of liked it. I'm not going to lie. I liked the, uh, I liked the gold and then the all white. I thought, I thought it looked pretty clean out there. All right, you guys good? All right, thank you. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Good All right, guys, we got Sean coming up. Josh, go ahead and start us off. All right, Sean, it's a big play down there at the end, obviously. Uh, you know, if you could just take us through, you know, what was going through your head and, you know, just kind of lay out that process of that play for us. Yeah, I mean, it was kind of a, we're kind of taking shots at the end zone there. And I like the matchup right there in the slot. You know, Train's been a guy, I told you guys, he's a playmaker, you know. Yeah, I think he had a hand on his hip right here, only one hand free, still made a play. So I knew I just had to give those guys, uh, give him a chance, and he made a play. So I like the matchup, and that's where I was going. How were your nerves, Sean, when you first came in? You haven't played a lot of football, man. You know, it's, it's kind of weird. I wasn't nervous. I was, I don't know, I don't even know how to describe it. It just felt like, Felt like 2020, and it was, I felt like this was the after the 2019 season, and this is my next season, and it just felt like 2020 even happened. It was weird. It was weird. I, I couldn't describe it. You know, it was, like I said, it was emotional today. It was, I, I don't know. I just can't even describe it. I can't find the words right now for it. But 
Yeah, no nerves, no true nerves, really just kind of eagerness to go out there and play. Did you feel antsy at all? And like maybe your footwork was a little off at first? I mean, took a little bit to get going. You know, um, I, I was, uh, I keep my self conscious of, you know, footwork, 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 especially beginning of the game. So, yeah, I'm sure it was a little off, you know, missed some throws, you know, whatever. That's just how football goes. Coach P is always preaching, you know, we keep swinging, keep swinging. Stuff out there bad is going to happen. And it did today, and we just got to respond. So, you know, that's just kind of our motto here. Sean, I'm sure you guys would have rather just had it easy all day and had an easy win and executed all day. But to come through at the end after a struggle and deliver some key fourth quarter drives, including the game winning drive, what can that do for your confidence and the offense's confidence? Well, it just you know, goes to show what we can do. You know, I think the standard, the bar has been set. You know, I think we got to meet that bar every time now. So, you know, we can deliver the ball, we can catch the ball, we can run with the ball, we just got to do it now. You know, and I keep saying that it feels like I'm kind of being a dead horse, but we got to, we just got to do it. You know, there's nothing to be said, but I just got to do it. Sean, given your relationship with Coach Vegan, how strange was that? Yeah, it was definitely strange, but I think uh, we both did a good job of keeping it, you know, professional. You know, he's, he's leading his team over there and I'm trying to, you know, help lead my team. So, um, I think we did a good job. You know, we met before at half field or at midfield before the game, and it was good to see him, you know, and looking across, you know, it just looked weird. You know, I mean, my time here, he's never been on the sideline coaching, you know, even in practices and stuff like that. So it was it was kind of unique, you know. It was pretty cool for him, happy for him and his family. John, you know, you know Aiden had over 70 yards today. It seemed like you kind of went to him in a few different clutch situations. How big was it having that, um, you know, veteran presence you could go to when things aren't, weren't always going so great? Yeah, it's definitely good. You know, Aiden's a guy with sure hands and he runs good routes and he has a really good feel for the game. So I know, you know, when it's third down or second down and we need something, he's the guy, you know, along with other guys in there. But me and Aiden, I think, have a really good connection right now going in. You know, I'm going to keep looking for him. John, nice to have uh, fans back in stands. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it was it was great. I mean, that played into you know my emotions a little bit. You know, seeing everybody striped out, bringing back memories. It just it was great. It was really great. All right, you guys got any more questions? All right, thanks guys. Thank you, Sean. Thanks, Sean. All right, guys, I could not hunt down <laughs> C.J. Colden. So my apologies, um, but you guys good? All good. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Apologies accepted.